Welcome to the Flow House. My name is Ash and I will be guiding you through the next 60 minutes of Power Flow 1. Power Flow is a strong vinyasa, so if you have any injuries or you're pregnant, please make sure you consult your healthcare practitioner before engaging in this practice and be very mindful of your body. Today you will need two blocks and a bolster. And you are going to get started in a comfortable seated position. I like to place a block underneath my bottom and sit cross-legged. So place one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. You are going to start with some pranayama or breath work. Close down through your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale let it out your mouth <sighs> two more breaths like that inhale deeply through the nose and exhale let it out the mouth <sighs> one more time inhale feel the belly expand underneath your hands and exhale release <sighs> going to continue breath work but just in and out of the nose so in through the nose let's do it to the count of four one two three four and exhale out the nose one two three four inhale two three four and exhale one two three four inhale two three four exhale two three four continue this pattern of breathing in your own time you might like to extend the breath to a count of five or six <sighs> and use this breath to center you on your mat, to allow you to arrive today. Just simply focusing on the inhale and the slow, sweet exhale. Feel your body start to ground into the earth, your shoulders soften. <sighs> Slowing down the heartbeat, slowing down the mind. <sighs> One more full inhale, breathing in all the fresh prana and exhaling all the stale energy that you no longer need. Keep your eyes closed, lift your hands to the sky and bring them to prayer. Deep inhale, lengthen and lift through the sides of the body. Exhale, draw your hands down to heart center. Notice how you are feeling now and how you would like to feel at the end of practice. And let this be your intention, your sankalpa for today. Since this is a power flow, you may wish to focus on feeling strong or empowered or making sure that your thoughts are nice and encouraging. <sighs> Open your eyes, remove the block underneath your bottom if you had one there. Reach your hands up to the sky and as you exhale, rotate to the right. Your left arm catches the outside of your knee and your right arm reaches behind. Just a gentle twist to warm up the spine. As you inhale, reach the crown of your head to the sky, extend the spine and as you exhale, move into the space that you have created by rotating to the back. One more time. 
inhale reach your arms back up to center and exhale rotate to the other side now reach the left arm behind you the right arm comes to the outside of the knee and press into the left knee to help you rotate to the back of the room <sighs> One more deep inhale, elongating your spine and exhale to twist into that space. Inhale, hands and heart come back to center. As you exhale, wrap your left arm around or your left hand around your right wrist. Take a deep inhale and reach your arms up to the sky, grow taller in your torso. And as you exhale, you are going to lower down to the left hand side, pulling on your right wrist, your left elbow might bend a little here, inhale into the right hand side of the body. And exhale to reach to the left a little more. <sighs> Soften the shoulders. Exhale to lower. Inhale, come back to center, release the wrist, suffer the shoulders from the ears, wrap the right arm around the left wrist, inhale, reach up through the crown of the head, fingertips rise, exhale to lower down to the right hand side. Maybe you peer to through your left armpit here. Just let the neck be soft. Deep inhale to reach to the side of the room. Exhale to fall closer towards the mat. <sighs> Try and keep both sit bones on the ground. One more deep inhale to reach. Exhale, pull the wrist towards the mat. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, plant your hands down on the mat in front of you and roll over the tops of your shins to come to a tabletop position. So your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Inhale to soften the belly, cow pose, reach the chin towards the sky. Exhale to cat pose, navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale to cow, push your bottom to the sky, brighten your collarbones and exhale to cat tuck your sit bone under inhale and exhale keep this movement going this wave of the spine in your own time just moving from one movement to the next so there's no pause in between, it's just one fluid motion. You're going to extend this movement, so come back to a straight spine and walk your hands out just one hand distance in front. And again, inhale to your cow pose, but you are going to send your hips towards the mat and lift your heart towards the sky so that you are in a cobra. And as you exhale, you are going to curl back through your cat pose and come all the way back to child's pose. So inhale, rolling forward, lifting up into cobra and exhale push the navel to spine as the hips move to the heels let's speed that up a little bit so inhale spine rolls forward chest flips up to the sky cobra exhale child's pose inhale exhale make sure you're engaging your core to protect your lower back whilst you do this you 
you're going to land in your next child's pose. So bring the feet together, knees out wide if they're not already. And lower your body down towards the mat, forehead lands on the mat. Inhale into the hips. And exhale, arms soften towards the mat. So this is your safe posture. If at any point throughout the practice today it becomes overwhelming or you find yourself losing breath, come back to child's pose. Come back to the breath, inhale deeply through the nose and fully out the nose. And then meet us back in the practice when you are ready. Roll your head from side to side and massage your skull. Soft in the neck, then come to stillness. Inhale, come up to all fours, tuck the toes, and exhale, downward facing dog. So your feet should be a hip width distance apart. Slight bend in the knees and inhale, push your breath up to your bottom. Exhale, your chest falls towards your thighs. Your fingers are spread and your knuckles are pushed into the mat. From here, you are going to fire up your core. So take an inhale to prepare, and as you exhale, lower your knees towards the mat and just give them a little tap, and exhale, push back downward facing dog. So inhale, and exhale, feel your belly contract as if you were zipping it up through the middle, and inhale, shoot your bottom back to the sky. Exhale to lower, quick tap. Inhale, push back, strong through the shoulders. Exhale, lower. And inhale, jump back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Three more times, lower. Engage the core and lift. Lower, push down through all five knuckles and lift. One more time. Exhale, lower. You're going to hold it just above the mat this time. Squeeze everything in. Push down through the palms of your hands. Take an inhale. Exhale. Then inhale. Push back. Really well done. Now bend the knees deeply. Look to the front of the mat. Take baby steps until your feet land in between your hands. Inhale to halfway lift, so fingertips come to the shin. Bottom pushes back and crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. So chest to thighs, head hangs heavy, neck long. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to shin or floor this time. Exhale, forward fold, bend deeply, let the head be heavy. <sighs> Catch opposite elbows with opposite hands and start to rock from side to side. <sighs> you might like to shake your head. No, no. Not at yes, yes. Release any tension in your neck and shoulders. Then come back to stillness, release the arms and roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Big shoulder roll at the top, send sparks out through your fingertips. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Tuck your tailbone under, brighten the collarbones and soften the shoulders. Lift up through the crown of the head and tuck the chin. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back to high plank. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward, shoulders over wrist. Exhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, engage the core. 
Exhale, lower halfway down, squeeze elbows to thighs, to sides. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, lower, keep the elbows close into the ribs. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push back up. And this time, exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Bring hands underneath the shoulders. Squeeze the arms into the sides. Push the tops of the feet in the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift off the mat. Maybe your hands lift off the mat this time too. Draw the elbows in towards one another. Exhale, place the, the hands back down to the mat, head to the floor. Inhale, push up to all fours. Exhale, tuck the toes back to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to walk at your dog, bend one knee and then the other. <sighs> then find stillness, bend the knees deeply, look to the front of the mat, step or hop in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise with a straight spine this time. Arms come out wide, palms touch at the top of the gaze. Exhale, hands down through heart center and to Tadasana. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back to high plank. Inhale, reach shoulders over, over wrists. Exhale, lower the knees to the floor, untuck the toes and come all the way down to the mat. Inhale to rise, full cobra, so chest and tummy off the mat this time. Inhale here and exhale, peer over your right shoulder Juicy spinal twist. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, back down to the mat. Inhale, push up to all fours. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. <sighs> Bend the knees, look to the front of the mat. Take baby steps or a hop in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, arms down through heart center, Tadasana. Now you're going to do that flow one more time, but we're gonna speed it up a little, create some fire. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back to high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower to knees or elbows, chaturanga, engage the core. Inhale to rise, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, peer over the right shoulder, maybe you find your toes. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and tap it to your right tricep or as high as it will go. Inhale, shoot back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left tricep so it comes across the body, squeeze it into the chest. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl, squeeze the thigh into the chest. Flip the foot, place it in between two hands. Lower the back knee, untuck the toe. Inhale, lift to kneeling crescent lunge. <sighs> Make sure that your front knee is in line with your heel. So you don't want the knee too far forward or too far back, stacking right over your ankle there. <sighs> Engage the core, soften the shoulders, 
Inhale, lengthen and lift through the side of the body. Exhale, scissor the arms, open up to the right hand side of the room. If it's comfortable, you can gaze to your back fingertips. Squeeze your inner thighs together as if you were trying to draw them into one another. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms wide. Exhale, circle the back arm down, brush the thigh and inhale, lift back up, kneeling Anjani Asana. Inhale, exhale, cactus the arms, send the heart to the sky, lift the chin. <sighs> Opening up through your Anahata, your heart chakra. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, lower into your left hip. Inhale, reach hands to the sky. Exhale, place the hands either side of the front leg. This might be where you grab your two blocks, especially if you are tight in your hamstrings. You're going to lower back to half split. So today you're going to point your toe rather than traditional, which is toe to the sky. So point your toe and try to keep ground into the earth. Now option to have the blocks either side of the leg, or if you're particularly flexible, you can keep your hands to the ground. Push the right hip back into the socket, draw the left forward. Keep pointing that front toe. It's a different stretch to having the toes in the air. So you're working more on the hamstrings here rather than the muscles in the outer thigh. It's really good practice for learning to do the splits. Deep inhale, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold from the hips and toward the front leg. Soften with each exhale. Lengthen with each inhale. One more inhale. Exhale, melt. And your next inhale, remove your blocks. Bend back into that front leg. Hands either side of the foot. Tuck the back toes. Step the right foot back to meet the left. High plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower to knees or elbows. Inhale, rise, cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Other side this time. So inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, tap left knee to right elbow or tricep. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee to right tricep, oblique twist. Inhale, shoot it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee into the chest. Flip the foot, place it in between the two hands, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale to rise, kneeling Anjani Asana. Exhale, draw the right hip forward, push the left back into its socket. <sighs> Press down through the front big toe to stabilize your body strong in the legs, pulling them towards one another. Deep inhale, exhale, open to the left hand side. <sighs> Roll the left shoulder back, reach the right arm forward. Deep inhale, open up through the side body. Exhale, circle the left arm down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, engage the core. Inhale, lengthen and lift through the sides of the body. Exhale, open the heart to the sun. Squeeze the elbows towards one another. <sighs> Inhale, reach back up to the sky. Exhale, lower the hands to the ground, half split or to your blocks once more. You might notice that one side is more flexible than the other. Remember to point that toe, push it into the mat. Mm. 
you might find gradually you can remove your blocks or you can take them down a level. Inhale to create space in the back of the leg. Exhale to move into that space. Notice where you might be holding any unnecessary tension. Maybe loosen your jaw a little bit here. Soften your eyebrows. One more deep inhale. Exhale to fold. Then inhale, walk the hands forward, bend the knee, tuck the back toes, high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale to lower knees or elbows. Inhale to rise. Keep the chin tucked, the crown of the head high. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Now bend the knees, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe the feet together so that the big toes are kissing and there is a fist with distance in between your heels. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit back, Uttakanasana chair pose. So squeeze the thighs together as if you're holding a $100 bill in between them. Tuck your tailbone under. You don't want to be pushing back, you want to be tucking it under and zipping up through your belly as if you were slurping a smoothie through a straw. Turn your fingers inwards and open your heart. Now you're going to do 10 little pulses here. So inhale, lift, exhale, lower an inch. Inhale, lift, and lower. Three, four, lower, five, lower. Keep squeezing those legs together. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10, and hold it there. Squeeze your legs together, tuck your bottom under. It's tough, but it's worth it, guys. And inhale, rise all the way up. Separate the feet, give the legs a shake, palms to touch. Inhale, baby back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to downward facing dog once more. Now you're going to do that same sequence that we just did, but in a flow. So one breath, one movement. Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee. Knee taps, tricep. Inhale, shoot back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, kick back, use that core. Exhale, tiger curl, plant the foot in between the hands, lower the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift back up to center. Exhale, cactus the arm. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Inhale, walk the arms forward. Exhale, tuck the toe, come back to high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower to knees or toes. Inhale, rise, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Other side, inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and tap to left tricep, squeeze the obliques. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, across the body. Inhale, shoot back. Exhale, right knee into the, left knee into the chest. Untuck the toes, lower the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Inhale, rise. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, half split. 
Inhale, walk the body forward, tuck the toes, come back to high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower to knees or elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, rise, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push back or forwards. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now bend the knees deeply, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe the feet together. And inhale, rise. Exhale, lower Uttakanasana. Turn the fingertips inward, tuck the bottom under, engage the core. And you're going to do those 10 little pulses once more. So rise an inch, lower an inch. That's one count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Lower all the way down as low as you can. Squeeze your knees together. Maybe you've got a little shake. That means that it's working. Deep inhale. Stay for the exhale. Then inhale, rise all the way up. Shake it out. Bring your hands back down to the sides. <sighs> Come to your Tadasana. <sighs> Close your eyes, yogis. Reach your hands up to the skies, palm touch. Exhale, draw them down through heart center and push your thumbs into your heart. Notice your heartbeat. See if you can start to slow it down by lengthening the inhale and pushing out the exhale. Every time you inhale, negative pressure draws blood into your heart. And as you exhale, it shoots back out to every different part of your body, your lungs, and continues to circulate. So imagine drawing in all of that fresh prana, everything that is good and nourishing, and exhale, pushing it out to every corner of your body, all of that oxygen, fresh oxygen to your muscles, your joints. <sighs> okay, open the eyes. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, shoot it back. Right knee to left tricep. Ground down through the right hand and place it to the center of the mat. You're going to kick out to fallen star. So place the right leg to the outside of the mat. Ground down through the blade of the left and inhale, reach the left arm high to the sky. Push the hips up to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, plant the hand back down, draw the knee into the chest, place it in between the two hands. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, rise, kneeling Anjani Asana. Exhale, square the hips. This time you're going to tuck the back toe and as you inhale, push off the back foot and rise to full crescent lunge. Deep inhale, exhale, open to the right side again. <sighs> Twisting from the hips here, push into the front big toe to stabilize. Deep inhale, reach the arms wide. Exhale, circle the back arm down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, cactus the arms and lunge into the back leg. Going to do that three more times. So inhale, lift, straighten the back leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, strong in the legs. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Oh, keep pushing the heart to the sky. Inhale, lift. Straighten the front leg. Grab those blocks. 
if you need them and place them either side of your foot. You can either have them long ways, down on the side or flat, depending on the length of your hamstrings. Shuffle the back foot in, ground down through the back foot, square the hips, and as you exhale, fold over the front leg for pyramid pose. So just building on that initial sequence. Those muscles should be warmer now, should be longer, and you might be able to get a little deeper in this pose than you usually would. Keep pushing your right hip backward, your left hip forward, so that your heart is directly in line with your knee. One more deep inhale, exhale to fold, then remove the blocks, bend into the front knee, but this time you are going to place your hands on the inside, shuffle your foot to the outside of the mat so that it's off on a 45 degree angle, lower the back knee, untuck the toe for lizard pose. So inhale, reach the heart high to the sky, brighten the collarbones, and exhale, start to fold forward. This is where you might grab your bolster. You can lie over the top of your bolster here if it's comfortable. This is a great stretch if you have lower back pain as you are lengthening the muscle that runs down the inside of your thigh and connects to your lower back, your sacrum. That muscle is called your iliacus muscle. If you're sitting down all day, that muscle can come, become contracted and start to pull on your lower back. And that's when you might get some lower back pains. So this is a really great stretch to open up through that region. Three more long inhales, full exhales. Remember to inhale that fresh life force, the chi, and exhale, send it out into your body, to your muscles, and feel them soften. Slowly walk yourself back up, remove the bolster if you had it underneath you. You're going to roll onto the blade of the right foot and start to open up through the right hip here. If it's comfortable, you can apply gentle pressure with your right hand to increase the stretch. Deep inhale. Full exhale. And place the foot back on the mat. Tuck the back toes, right foot comes to the left foot high plank, inhale shoulders over wrists, exhale lower to knees or elbows, chaturanga, inhale rise, cobra or up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Other side this time, so inhale reach the left leg high to the sky, exhale bend the left knee and tap the left tricep, inhale shoot it back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, kick it out, fall and star. Inhale, lift. Gaze is up to the top fingertips if it's comfortable. Deep inhale, push the hips to the sky. Exhale, place the hand back down to the mat, draw the knee into the chest. Place it in between the two, two hands, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, square the hips, the shoulders. Tuck the back foot, engage your core. You know what's coming next. Inhale, press off the mat, rise, full Anjani Asana. Check in with that front foot again. Make sure that the knee is stacked over the ankle 
and the front toe is pressed into the ground. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, scissor the arms. Reach the arms, inhale. Exhale, circle the back arm down, brush the hip. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lunge down, cactus the arms, lift the chin to the sky. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Strong through the legs, soft in the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower and hold this time, opening up through the chest. Engage the glute, engage the core, and inhale, rise. Straighten the front leg, the back leg shuffle forward, and ground down through the back heel. Grab your blocks if you need them, place them either side of your front leg. Deep inhale, square the hips. Exhale, fold to pyramid pose. <sighs> This posture as well is really great practice, really great warm up if you'd like to eventually get into the full splits. This stance shouldn't be too wide here. Your feet should almost be in one straight line and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Inhale into your hips. Exhale out the heart. Hmm. Hmm. Last deep inhale. Full exhale. Then bend into the front knee. Shuffle it off the mat so that the heel is on the mat. The toes are off 45 degree angle. Lower into lizard pose, back knee comes to the ground, untuck the toes. Again, option to place your bolster underneath your arms, but first let's inhale, rise, soften the shoulders from the ears, exhale, lower down towards the mat. Noticing where you could soften a little more. Breathe into that space. And exhale to release the tension. Let it go. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale to surrender. And slowly push yourself back up. Roll onto the blade of the left foot. Gently push out with the left palm to the inside of the thigh. You can gaze over your left shoulder if it's comfortable or just simply down to the mat. You should feel that in the outside of your left leg and your glute and your ITB band. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Then bring the foot back to the floor. Tuck the back toe, come up to high plank. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, engage your core, lower to chaturanga, elbows to sides. Inhale, rise, upward facing dog or cobra. Keep the chin tucked. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Bend the knees deeply, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise the straight spine and exhale fold back down swan dive inhale halfway lift 
exhale forward fold and this time as you inhale you are going to roll up through the spine and massage the backs of your legs with your palms so inhale to rise push the palms into the backs of the legs the palms five the sacrum squeeze the elbows together and use that motion to push your hip forward lift your heart to the sky baby back bend maybe your head falls backward and you open your throat chakra exhale come back up to center and then roll back down massage the backs of your thighs down to your feet this time you're going to do that three more times so inhale rising brushing the backs of the legs lifting up through the heart squeezing the elbows together and exhale coming back down inhale to lift and exhale back to the earth opening up through the chest here inhale rise and you'll see in a moment why and lowering back down inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale rise with a straight spine send the arms wide palms touch come down through heart center and to dasana now you're going to move into your dancer's pose hence why you opened up through the chest and moved through the back there so it's really great practice for the same sort of shape you need to take in this next asana so ground down through all four corners of your left foot bend the right knee catch the inside of the foot and square the hips bring the knees together inhale reach the left arm up to the sky and exhale send the arm forward and kick the right foot back into the hand kick as hard as you can the harder you kick the more you would balance continue to kick draw the right hip forward the left shoulder forward you've got this reach with the left arm kick with the back foot kick as hard as you can one more time and exhale lower the knees back together arm to the sky and release the foot come to tadasana shake it out you're going to do the other side this time so ground down through all four corners of the right foot push the big toe into the floor bend the left knee grab the inside of the foot square the shoulders square the hips inhale reach the right arm to the sky and exhale right arm forward kick the left foot back into the hand you can place your pointer finger and your thumb together for Gyan mudra this is said to stimulate focus and concentration so it's great in your balancing poses deep inhale kick kick it's okay if you come out as long as you give it a go you are strong deep inhale kick into the hand reach forward and then slowly lower back to center and come down to the earth give it a shake out the hard work is done yogis so inhale reach the hands to the sky and exhale you are going to lower all the way down swan dive forward inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold step back to downward facing dog lower the knees untuck the toes reach the arms out to the corners of the mat take a deep inhale send it into your bottom and exhale lower to puppy pose so chest and chin or forehead find the earth inhale into the hips and exhale the armpits melt toward the floor hmm. 
Now lower your elbows down towards the mat and shuffle your hands inwards so that they're parallel. Keep your forehead on the mat. Then you are going to bring your hands to prayer and send them behind your head so that your thumb touches the back of your neck. Inhale into the hips and exhale, soften the armpits towards the mat, sit backwards. Feel the stretch in the triceps, a nice juicy stretch after doing so many chaturangas. not feeling that stretch in your triceps then with each inhale push your bottom closer to the sky push it upwards and with each exhale lower your triceps down towards the mat <sighs> one more deep inhale full exhale plant your hands back on the mat Walk yourself up slowly. Bring your knees together. And since you did a gentle heart opener then, you're gonna counterbalance that with a forward fold. This is one of my favorite asanas. It's called rabbit pose. So catch the outside of your heels. Inhale, push your bottom into your heels and reach the crown of the head to the sky. Tuck the chin, long spine. Exhale, roll forward, just like you did in your cat pose. You are going to place your head to your knees and push your bottom up to the sky. If you've got a bun on top of your head, you'll need to take that one out. And rise up onto the crown of your head, arms straighten. Full extension of the spine here. You're opening up through your vertebra, allowing your nervous system to have some space to move. Some of those very important messages up to your brain and back down to your muscles and your organs. If your knees have come apart from your forehead, just shuffle them forward so that you've got full contact between your forehead and your knees. Continue to lift up through the bottom, deep inhale. Exhale, lower back down, head lifts up, shoulder roll. And from here, you are going to swing your legs around in front. Take a deep inhale, reach your hands to the sky and exhale, fold from the hips. So this is an active forward fold. So rather than trying to reach your head to your knees, you want to reach your chin to your toes. So you've got a long, strong spine here and your chest is lifted and pushing forward. your toes active so they're flexed back towards you one more deep inhale reach the chin forward exhale fold from the hips and inhale slowly rise up and you are going to lower to the ground to the count of ten so a little bit of core work so 10, 9, 8, keep the legs together, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, two, and one. <sighs> okay. Kick the feet up towards the sky, heels to the sky. You're going to cross your right thigh in front of your left, bend the knees, and then catch your feet from the arch to the blade. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, pull them apart towards opposite wall, and then lower back and draw the knees into the chest. You should feel that stretch down the outside of your thighs. Hmm. Pull the elbows in towards the bother, in, uh, in towards the body, rather than having them sticking out like chicken wings. So that's going to allow you to draw your feet closer towards you, and increase, extend the stretch down the outside of your thighs. This is a fantastic stretch if you are seated all day or if you do squats or cycling, running. It's specifically targeting and opening up those muscles around the outside of the leg that are contracted in those exercises. <sighs> One more deep inhale, exhale, feet come towards the body, draw them in, then slowly release, place your arms to shoulder height, palms facing downward and shuffle your bottom to the left hand side of the mat. Inhale and exhale, lower your legs to the right hand side of the mat. Ooh. Make sure your blocks aren't in the way. And your gaze is to your left fingertips. If this is too much, then you can just simply stack your knees on top of one another for a more traditional supine twist. And you can close down your eyes here as you come to the end of your practice. Your twist postures, which were throughout the practice today, help to stimulate your gallbladder meridian. Now your gallbladder organ is responsible for creating bile, and bile helps to remove toxins from your body. So twists are very beneficial in terms of detoxification and cleansing of the body as it helps to stimulate that particular gallbladder channel. Take one more deep inhale. As you exhale, roll back onto the flat of your back. Kick your feet to the sky. Wrap the left leg in front of the right. Bend the knees, reach up, catch the inside to the outside of the feet. Pull them apart and exhale, soften down towards the mat. Your whole spine should be on the mat, so make sure that that sacrum is ground into the earth. <sighs> Again, pull the elbows towards the armpits. Lengthen the neck by tucking the chin and reaching the crown of the head behind you. <sighs> you might notice that this feels more juicy on one side than the other. We tend to favor one leg more than the other. In fact, one leg is longer than the other. That's probably why. Mm. Inhale to draw the fresh oxygen into the heart and exhale to send it out to any areas of tension, any areas that might need a little bit of love. One more inhale, 
exhale feet in towards the body knees to chest and then release the hands bring them out to shoulder height shuffle the bottom to the right hand side of the mat and exhale lower the legs to the left again option to stack the knees on top of one another i suggest you do this if your right shoulder is lifting One more deep inhale, exhale sweetly, then roll back onto the flat of your spine, squeeze your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, then start to rock and roll along the length of your spine, gather some, some momentum so that you can swing all the way up into a cross-legged position. You might like to place the block underneath your bottom if you did at the beginning of class. Hips higher than knees. <sighs> Inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Exhale, draw them down to heart center. Close down through the eyes. Notice how you feel now after 60 minutes of powerful flow. Connect that feeling to the Sankalpa, the intention that you set at the beginning of class. And come back to that feeling, that sensation that you have conjured all on your own whenever you might need it today. You know that you have the power, you have the strength within you. All you have to do is turn it on. Thank yourself for practicing today. Thank your fellow yogis for practicing with you. Then raise your hands to the place in between your eyebrows, your third eye. The love and the light in me honors the love and the light in you and we close our practice by bowing forward and saying namaste namaste thank you yogis my name is ash and i hope to see you again soon